like all my enemies all look the same in the eyes, whether it's Faison, Wanda, Aries, Spears, they all look like. Man, what you got to give Wanda Sykes? <laughs> you think I don't remember that? Sir, Wanda Sykes and Wanda Smith are two separate people. I mean and Wanda I, Smith, Wanda and, Smith. And I had only no, said Wanda one Sykes. name, sir. Wanda, Sy Wa I, Wanda, Wanda Sykes. I'm crazy. It's amazing. I love Wanda. And I agree. I love Wanda. That's I my agree. girl. Mine but I, well. I remember on the radio, you went on a radio interview. If I'm not mistaken, that's in Atlanta. Right. And you came on there with seemingly good intentions. And oh, she yeah. attacked you. It wasn't just that part. It was the fact that before I go in there, she has a conversation about, okay, now... I just want to talk to you because you just won an Emmy for the city of Atlanta and this right. is in Atlanta and they just want to hear about the Emmy and hear from you and to thank you for what you did putting the city on. Right. Okay. And we won't talk about your kids. We won't talk about jail. No cases. We ain't going to talk about none of that. Right. And immediately gets in there and goes the opposite way. You can't flip up on me because you're an inferior comedian. I'm going to destroy you and I'm never going to call you out of your name. I'm never going to say anything disrespectful to people that look like you. I'm, I'm, it's a very thin line. I got a call. But this lady is trying to embarrass me in front of a largely homosexual fan base. That's why she got canceled. Gay people don't take it kindly that you would, as a derogatory, call me gay. Gay people don't feel like it's derogatory. So why are you trying to shame me with something in a community I don't even belong in? There's no gay people saying I belong over there or been over there. You did, did but I have no hatred of over there, and how dare you? You did a number on it, though. Hey. You did a number on it. That, no, that's legendary. No, you either believe in karma or you don't. Because I didn't even know any of the stuff that she had done to my fellow comedians until afterwards. I just know she that it was a setup. Right. And and, and remember, they they tried to kill me this same weekend, not in jokes, with a real gun in my real face on real camera. Understand I'm losing my life for participating in something that goes along with my job. Like, this two comedians, what do you mean? And, and the world was okay with it because it was me. Had that happened to anyone else, the world went crazy when Will smack, smacked Chris. This is a person pulling a whole gun on a comedian in the confines of their job. It's, a, it's really a weird situation uh, when they hate you that bad. Yeah. Yeah. You felt she hated you at that moment because you you mentioned that she said it was going to be very professional. Oh, you want an Emmy? Congratulations. You put the city on. You own for the city. Yada, yada, yada. And now, did she mention anything about the Emmy on camera? I believe you saw the video <laughs> and you know that none of that took place. See, the, it, <laughs> the issue is that... Um, all the comedians have to come do these radio stations right. because you have to sell your tickets. And so that means you have to go to the radio station. Yes. I, I don't go to the radio station and I don't make posts to sell tickets. I just don't. So you've not seen me. I'm, I haven't, I'm not here in some subservient position nope. where somebody sent me over. I'm. You here out of the kindness of your heart. You are. No, no, I'm saying in, no, but in no, the interview radio, yeah, yeah, yes. situation. Yes. Yeah, like, yes, right. For sure. Yeah, and this person knew I wasn't there for that or, yeah. It's, but how hard, because you have to understand, she is a female, and so you have to be careful. You have to handle her with kid gloves. Sir, sir, <laughs> you want to go ahead and take that out? You don't want to be against equality, do you? No, no. What you just said was <laughs> very unequal, sir. Bruh, but I you... think maybe you've had <laughs> enough of this. <laughs> because I think I just heard you say but can you, can that you... women are not equal and should be they, treated unequally. They, and are, I, they want to be treated You mean equal. as a comedian? No, no. They want, listen, you understand and I understand. Yeah. In certain situations, they want to be treated equal. Not all situations. And and what part of what you saw her get? Oh, she what, deserved everything no, you no, gave her. What part would have been different if she was a man? It would have just been more vicious. Yeah, that, that's that's my point. 
I took, my I took all the vicious and venom away because it. I didn't have any. Plus, I understood I'm not trying to offend black women with short hair. I'm not trying to offend heavyset women. I'm not trying to upset fellow comedians. I'm not trying to do any of that. And I can't. I am qualified to be able to do none of that and still eviscerate you because I'm smart enough to know that I need to say that you have gnarled fingers because I know your limited education means you don't know what the word means. So you can't possibly respond to it. You're not sure of the meaning. And I'm going to continue hitting you because this is what comedians do. Right. You've been masquerading that you're a comedian, too. And that's the fallacy. So and nobody that, in boxing fights out of their weight class. If you're a 130 pounder, you don't just show up with the 160 pounders. You stay in your weight class. Is that what you wanted to do? No. That she was out of her league when no. it came to because I she, didn't want to do any of it. I know you didn't want, didn't to, want to do it. But what she took it there. You, did you feel that you had to go there? Oh, you go where? Said, you could have said, Wanda, I didn't come here for that. I just want to do the interview. I just want to talk about what happened. Oh, you misunderstand my job. My, <laughs> my job is to be funny. <laughs> my job is to be funny first. My first job is to be funny. My yeah. second job is to be respectful. My third job is to be immaculate and Gaza strip it. Huh? Uh, That's non-political. I'm saying if you do it, you let a terrorist accidentally touch over here and I won't stop burning you down until there ain't nothing left. It'll literally be rubble on top of rubble and I'll still be bombing. Why? Because that's why you should mind your business. This is what F around and find out is about. Right. 